Hello hackers and welcome back. So we've started reading about the argument genre. And you've read about how social media, or I'm sorry, you watched a video on how social media shapes identity. We've read about how social media shapes teenage identity or did during the MySpace era. And you've also read about arguments and persuasive writing and specifically definitional arguments. Uh, you've also read about rhetoric and you read about one particular digital community um, to, uh, Second Life where Tom Bolstroff explains about how identity is performed in that digital community. So we're going to move on this week and finish our examples uh, for a good argument, uh, a good example of the argument genre and um, we're going to be reading our last example uh, from Synthetic Worlds by Edward Castronova. And he is writing about a particular group of digital communities. These are MMORPGs. Uh, now, MMORPGs are a particular type of game. They stand for Massively Multiplayer Online Role-Playing Game. So it means that everybody's connected, everybody is playing the same game. Second Life is kind of like that, except for it's more social, it's more um, constructed just for social reasons, really, uh, although people do play games in Second Life. But think of World of Warcraft um, and that, those sort of games. We're going to be reading that as our last example of a good argument. And what we're going to be doing is uh, using the same groups that we did for our informational report blog. We're going to just stick in those groups just to save time and confusion. We're going to be decoding that genre just like we've decoded every other genre by using the examples and explaining uh, what are the common codes or the expectations for a text in this genre. Now one thing that I want to point out is that my examples for this genre might not be quite as direct as the other examples and we have the added complication that arguments are a, a, a more complicated genre than reports or, um, or um, uh, narratives in that they might not be as clear-cut or might not be able to seem as clear-cut. So I want to acknowledge the, co the um, complications here, and I think it's partially because it's hard to find good scholarship that is just on one digital community. So I've had, kind of had to um, combine some stuff. Now Boyd obviously is not writing about a digital community but a network, but it will help us uh, to be able to understand how identity is formed online in general. Um, and we can quote her when we're making our arguments about our particular digital community. Now, Edward Castronova in Synthetic Worlds is an, also isn't focused on one digital community, it, it, but a group of them, a group of games, MMORPGs. And Bolstroff is the only one who really is focused on a digital community, although it could be argued that there are several digital communities that, uh, that are on Second Life. But one thing that all of these readings have in common is that they are good scholarly arguments. And they might share some stuff with our report genre, but they're going to be different. Uh, you'll notice, although Castronova uses uh, some surveys and, and that sort of thing, most of what he does is use clear arguments and explanations. You'll notice that the same way with Bolstroff and Boyd, they're doing more explaining and arguing uh, than they are just doing, um, you know, than just informing. And that's where we could go back to our purpose chart. And if you see here, the purpose of our narrative was to show what was going on. The purpose of our informational report was to inform the reader through our blog what was going on in a particular digital community. Um, and then the last purpose for our blog is to persuade our readers that identity works in a particular way in their digital community. 
So we're going to this week do all of the steps for the word cloud, um, making the word cloud for this new genre, for the argument genre. And this really is going to be the toughest genre to decode because argumentation is, is complicated. But we're focused on definitional arguments in, in particular and defining identity even more than so than that in the digital community. We're going to work on a, uh, by the end of the week, you'll have not only created the word cloud, so you'll have a good idea of what that what the genre of argument consists of um, and decoded it based on our examples but we're also going to create a working thesis so a working thesis is just like it sounds it's just a uh, a thesis that you throw out there to get your argument started and based on the examples that you find if you do more research for this or look at the raw data that, of the research you already have based on those examples um, you might uh, change that working thesis. A lot of times a working thesis is a little broader than it should be. Uh, and then once you start writing and bringing in examples, you can tighten up that thesis and make it more focused, more specific. So if I were to write this blog in the argument genre, I would be thinking about a working thesis for the cyberpunk groups that I belong to. And I've seen several discussions um, whereas you can imagine uh, a lot of people talk about their experience with computers and how that gives them knowledge over other people who aren't experienced in that s specific software, or specific computer. And there are a lot of people who work with computers in these groups and who have been doing so for decades. And so a lot of times you'll see um, just in discussion that they'll show that experience or joke about that experience working on old computers and um, one of the way reasons they do this is to help construct their identity as someone who belongs in this cyberpunk group because they understand technology and have been working with tech computer technology for a long time so that's the way I would take it and my working thesis would look something like this that uh, identity is performed in my cyberpunk di uh, digital community uh, by people talking about their expertise with old software and old technology. So you can see that that's kind of just a working thesis and it could probably be a better thesis but, we're, but then I would have to bring the examples in and start my argument start drafting my argument to have an idea of how I could sharpen up that thesis and maybe make a finer point. So we're gonna finish up reading the argument genre we're going to as groups uh, make our last word cloud of the of the course and we're going to start by throwing out a working thesis, something to get us started with working on this next blog so we have a direction to go. All right, I hope that everyone is, has a good time finishing up our examples, creating our word cloud, and thinking up a good working thesis. And as always, if you have any questions or concerns, please chat with me on Discord or send me an email call or call me on the phone or send me an email. Um, I hope to see you all online.